Welcome back to the EAM Crypto channel. It has been a minute since my last video. I think it's been about three months. Uh, so sorry about that, but I've been talking to many of you guys on Discord, DMs, um, on Twitter, DMs, all that good stuff. So yeah, so you guys kind of know what I've been up to. Um, so yeah, if I haven't talked to you, hey, awesome to uh, see you guys again or for you guys to at least watch my video. And uh, guys, I'm very easy to get a hold of. So if you have any questions, always just reach out to me via Twitter or Discord. All right, guys, so I've been incredibly busy um, trading the last few days. As you guys know, I do all my trading on BitGet. For those of you that have been doing your trading on BitGet through my affiliate link, thank you so much. Um, if you don't, let me know. Reach out. I can definitely hook you up with some great, great deals where you get half of your, uh, the trading fees back. And right now, my only trade on BitGet right now is a BTC long. Uh, as you can see right here, I'm up about $1,158. And I am not going to close this long right now. Um, I have done a ton of trades. Uh, so if you look at all my trades lately, um, you know, this is why I decided to do this video. I've been trading like crazy um, the last few days. So these are all my trades. Uh, these are like my last 20 trades, right? Uh, so as you can see a lot, most, most green. Uh, but the big thing about these 20 trades is I did them in five days. So as you can see, I've been very, very active because right now the market is just so liquid so volatile and it's just yummy yummy i wasn't going to trade again for the rest of the year but these conditions were just hard to pass up and again if you guys uh, are looking for a site to try trade on leverage uh go to big get and let me know uh, and i can hook you guys up with a great deal to uh, get half of your trading fees back all right guys so and sorry here's my little kitty um and she uh is going to be jumping all over the place okay so what is going on right now what are my thoughts on the right now um, you know, long term, um, long term, um, there is a lot, and I do mean a lot of different things that can happen, especially midterm, especially with this spot ETF coming up. But right now, what I think is most important is this right here. I think that Bitcoin right now is going to hit this this very, very, very important uh, critical level right here, uh, 42.6. Uh, it acted as support quite a bit. It's a historical level of support. And, um, and um, I think that, uh, sorry, my cat is all over the place. Um, and I think that we're going to bounce up and it's going to act as resistance. I really, really do. So do I think that we're still going to see some huge numbers in the next really like probably 10 days with um, the spot ETF approval coming up? Absolutely. I think a BTCF anywhere from like 46.5 to 50 Ks in the cards, but super short term. I think we're going to do something like this. We're gonna we're gonna hit this, and then maybe maybe paint a higher low and then hit it, or or something else that could happen is that we do this, we hit this, and then we have to hit this, and then we'll go test it again. Uh, I think something like that is very very possible. Uh, the reason why I think that this blue line is important is just um, kind of like a little support line that has a little bit of date to it now, back all the way from the 11th. But it acted as support right here on the 11th, and it acted as support again right here on the 18th. So if we were to hit that again, I, I would feel comfortable to say they'll probably act as support. But, you know, one time, two times, three times, sometimes the third time is the charm. But I do think that the super, super short-term thing is that we're going to go hit this 42.6, bounce off, reject, <laughs> and then start heading down. So I'm going to keep my long open till 42.6, um, and then... Or maybe 42,599. I should probably go into big get and just set it at 42,599. And then, um, and then I'm probably going to go open a short right away um, because I think that's going to be the play. Um, we've talked so much about ETH. I still think that ETH 2700 is on the table uh, for sure. If BTC does the things that we think it might do, uh, but and but then will come the big big drawdown. So one thing that I want to make crystal crystal clear on today's video. Oh, sorry, wearing a wristband from working out. Is that um after all this craziness happens uh with the whole um with the whole bitcoin etf approval uh hopefully happening anywhere between january 10th and january 5th and january 10th is i really really do think that uh what's going to happen is that uh we're going to have a huge correction is it going to be 20 percent, 30 40 percent? i don't know uh but we're going to have a huge huge correction there's going to be a ton a ton of money to be made but i think it's gonna be shorting the altcoins not shorting bitcoin shorting ethereum will also be a great play you can use more leverage with ethereum than with certain altcoins so that make makes sense uh so shorting soul which you know as you guys know that i've been talking to i've been bullish on soul since uh for a while now um 
I'm now bearish on Seoul. I think that it's time to go bye-bye and, and short Seoul. Um, I haven't been able to short Seoul as much as I like on BitGet. I've been having to use a different exchange to short Seoul because on BitGet, they don't really let you short Seoul, which sucks. Um, but um, but yeah, I mean, this the time has come to short Seoul. But Nier is one that you guys, I'm, look guys, I know I talked about Nier so much in past videos. Um, as you know, I've been accumulating a lot of Nier coins. I had them in my wallet, MetaMask wallet. I then staked them. Um, so they're all staked. And I've also been trading it on leverage. And this has been an amazing run with Nier. I mean, just amazing. Um, so I became less bullish on Nier when, after all the uh, SBF, uh, SBF stuff happened. But I was still, I still remain bullish. I didn't, I didn't get rid of um, all my bullishness for Nier. And look what it's done. Um, is it is Nier done? Um, I don't know. So one thing I wanted to show, just for kind of like, I don't know, educational purposes. If you look at Nier right now in the four hour, it's a, it's kind of a different story than the one day. On the four hour, you're starting to see some negative momentum building right here, right? Very obviously negative momentum building. Uh, you're starting to see the RSI right here at its low, at its highest point was a lot lower than up here. Um, so you're starting to see a lot, a lot of reasons to think that the buyers are definitely getting tired and exhausted. But, and and even on the four hour right here, this action right here, it it if this doesn't get all the way to 461 again it, it still can can look very very much like the buyers are getting exhausted but then if you look at the one day eh, that still looks pretty damn strong i mean i don't want to short this that still looks really strong to me on the one day and sure enough you can see it right here the momentum is still very much on the rise uh, rsi doesn't seem to give away as much bearish information as on the four hour so yeah so Looking at all that, um, is it time to short near? I already sold my leverage near positions. Um, enough was enough. But yeah, um, that was really good. Uh, another one that we've been talking about a lot on DMs is a say or C. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Uh, I think this was it. I think it's this was it. Uh, it was time to go away. So that one, ENJ, I've been very, very bullish on. Um, I'm still bullish on it, but, you know, is there cause for concern, especially with that big old wick right there, maybe? Um, so yeah, ENJ, if you want to take profits on that one. But if BTC is going to do some of the things that we think it might do around January 5th, I mean, some of these altcoins may just fly. So it's just a very interesting point. But you don't want to be greedy, right? Um, you don't want to be greedy. Uh, BNB, by the way, um, looks like we've, we hit that target of 300. Actually, if you want to be really, really, really detailed about it, I think 313 and 320 is also in the cards, and then I think we might see a drawdown, but who knows, man. But 300, uh, we knew we knew that 300 was in the cards when I was able to kind of hit this 265 level to 273 level and kind of stay above 258. Um, that's when we knew. That's when we knew that 300 was on the table. So nice, nice for uh, BNB to kind of do what the TA said it was going to do. So really like that. Um, I did also want to call out the ETH to BTC chart. Um, you know, BTC has been the play versus ETH. It looks like things might be changing a little bit. Um, everybody's been very down on ETH, but don't forget, guys, uh, the next ETF, all of the narrative is then going to go to ETH. It's now deflationary. Um, too much money was made with Solana. I think a lot of that's going to rotate into ETH. So don't be surprised if we can break this trend line right here. Uh, and it's trying to. It really, really is trying to. Don't be surprised if ETH starts to outperform BTC in the next couple of weeks. But then when it's, you know, when all this craziness is over and the big correction happens, ETH is going to correct and retrace much, much more than BTC. So that will be something to consider. Uh, let's see what BTC is doing right now. Check on our trade. Okay, we're now up $1,750. So very nice. Are we getting close to my target? Yeah, we're getting close. We're getting very, very close. So uh, again, like I said, once we hit this spot right here, 42,605, it's time to sell and it's probably time to go short. So again, I try to be as fluid as possible in and out, long, short, I don't care, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm, not, it's, I'm not like in a cult for any token. Uh, I guess I'm kind of in the Bitcoin cult long-term, but yeah, uh, I'm just a trader. And I think that's it for today's video. So let me know if there's any coins that or tokens that um, you would have liked to see me cover that I didn't cover. Uh, but this is just a beautiful time to trade. I wasn't going to trade the rest of the year. It's been an amazing year. And uh, I was just kind of over it. I just wanted to take a break from anything and everything. 
Uh, but um, these, this environment just makes it so yummy, and you, and it's, it's kind of hard not to trade when when you have environments like this. It just it's I don't want to say it's easy, but it's less tough than uh, when there's no volatility, there's no liquidity, and uh, things are just fun. So yeah, we'll see what happens. But um, I think uh, like I said earlier, I think we're going to go and test this right here or, or come very very close to it. Maybe the market knows that it's such an obvious thing and. Uh, Maybe I should close out my trade beforehand, and then uh, and then I think we're going to see a drawdown. And then do we paint a higher low than right here, or are we going to have to go all the way down to here to then test that again? That is the question, and I don't know. So that's why you just got to keep an eye on everything. All right, guys, again, um, thank you so much for all of you that have reached out and have talked to me and everything. Uh, through my time off. Um, it was really nice to take time off videos though. So I'm back and I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.